So I am back with my top wax vendors. So I left off at Rainbow Melts. That She was my number five. Um, so let's go to number six. Number six is Rose Girls. Now Rose Girls does very well in my house as well. Um, I get very strong scent throw. I would say a seven to eight in my house sometimes stronger than that i do have to use a little bit more of the rose girls like i will use a whole chunk i will weigh it because her chunks weigh differently if you buy the chunk bags they all are different sizes so if i get a chunk that's like one and a half to two ounces i will use that whole chunk and it will if i put it in my bathroom it will walk into my room which some of the waxes do not do if i put it in my bedroom it it will walk almost to my bathroom not all the way but probably around to where my closet is which is um excuse me i keep rubbing my nose because my nose is itchy my allergies are bothering me but um even in my open areas it does very well but Rose Girls dropped to number six because Rose Girls is def definitely difficult to get. She has very long tats. Um, she is not all that cheap <laughs> or reasonable. Um, she has great scent combos. Like her scent combos are one of the best. Her wax is very nice looking. Um, she has great customer service. The times that I have emailed her or messaged, well, mostly messaged her, she has gotten back to me in a very good time. You know, it's just her and her mom working on this wax, this wax and these custom orders. These ladies go crazy for Rose Girls. I mean, they order hundreds of dollars at a time and that's why it takes so long. Um, um, I guess to get for her to get through her tat her tat for her custom she opens like once a year literally because these ladies order so much from her she she can't open up no more than once a year for a custom order um, I'm still waiting for my custom order from April and it's now September 16th well about the, yeah and I am in this next batch, but I don't know where <laughs> in the next batch. And I didn't do a large order. She made it clear that, you know, I mean, you can order what you want, but if you wanted a chance of getting the order, you had to have at least two pages or less. And each page holds three or three products, you know, so, and I had one and a half pages and I was still on the end of the first group of 100 orders um so yeah but I love her wax um I haven't had one dud yet that I have tried from her and it does very well in my house that's the downer is that her wax is not easily accessible she's only open for customs once a year you can get the mini melters but it's like a nine week turnaround time and you thinking to yourself ladies y'all got like a million dollars worth of wax from rose girls why is the tat on the mini melters so long i mean don't you got enough <laughs> you know these ladies cannot get enough of rose girls wax so she is very hard to get even in D-stashes, like, you have to be on those d stash. They're going, like, at 1.2 milliseconds after they're posted. So, seven is Sniff My Tarts. I have had a couple of Sniff My Tarts chunks from D-stashes and... I'm trying to think, did I get any in a rope? I don't think so. They were all these stashes that I got. And um, 
her wax does very well. I've had not a whole lot of experience but with Sniff My Tars, but the chunks that I did have did very, very well in my house. One chunk I had put in my upstairs sitting area, and um, I forgot that I put it on, and I had a doctor's appointment that day. And when I walk through the door, now my sitting area is in the front of the house. I come in through my garage in the back of the house, you know, by the kitchen. is on the other side of the house. And uh, when I walked in, I smelled blueberry muffins. Smelled like blueberry muffins. Now, I totally forgot that I had put this wax on and left the house. And I asked my husband, because he was sitting in the dining room, I said, you fixing blueberry muffins? Because I'm thinking, you know, it's like late afternoon why are you fixing blueberry muffins <laughs> and so he said no i'm not fixing no blueberry muffins so i was like why it smell like blueberry muffins like i said it's not dawning on me i totally forgot i put this wax on and i'm going up the stairs and it's getting stronger <laughs> and i said oh shoot i put that wax on and it was peggy's blueberry noel i think it was and I was like, dang. I mean, that stuff walked from all the way upstairs, all the way through my kitchen. And I was smelling it going out through my garage. Like, yeah. And I have tried a few others. After that, I bought a D stash from one of my curl friends. And again, it did very well. It threw for a long period at a steady seven, you know. And I do have a custom order coming with her. And she's pretty quick. This is my first custom order with her. I never ordered any of her samplers. But I can see how she's able to put out these samplers so much and offer these samplers. She's very quick because she just opened up, I believe, August 15th for her customs. She was open for about maybe 30 minutes to an hour. And... I believe she got over 500 maybe 600 custom orders and she just started about she started maybe a week late after she opened for customs because she was just finishing up some of her last customs and such and um, she is already on her in in a month she's already in less than a month she's already starting tomorrow on the second group. The first group had about 30 some odd people in it. She's going to be starting on her second group tomorrow, which I'm in the second group. I was number 47 uh, in the custom order line. As you know, it's whoever clocks in once you get through PayPal and all of that. And so those ladies was on it. You know, uh, those ladies got some quick fingers. Let me tell y'all, because some of them I mean, they had so much stuff. And it's like, how in the world did you get all of that stuff and, and still get out before somebody who only ordered three or four things? I mean, <laughs> those ladies are quick. But she is really quick. Uh, I think it's her and her daughter um, that does it. But I'm totally impressed, like, seriously, for this lady to be starting on her second in less than a month is crazy. So... Yeah, Sniff My Tar, she's number seven. Number eight is Rocket Melts. Now, Rocket Melts, I stick with her fruity scents. I got some Rocket Melts in a D-stash. The scents that I got were very, very good. I did not have a problem with it. They threw very strong. They threw for um, an extended period. I can't, I'm not sure if it, through for over 24 hours or if it was 15 16 17 hours but again anything from 8 to 12 hours is good for me if it goes over it's a plus but I fell in love with one of her scents that was cherry 7 up pound cake fruity asteroid loops which is um don't talk Okay. okay, which is um, um, her fruity asteroid loops is like a home blend. I think it's just like fruit loops, but it smells so good. 
and it's long lasting and she stands out she gives out these huge chunks her prices are decent her shipping to me is a bit high i think she charges like uh flat rate i did not just say um she i come in in a minute okay she charges like i think 10 close my door rory sorry she charges like a 10 dollar flat rate shipping i believe i'm not sure i think she has some issues with regional shit i don't know i've i've always paid like 10 dollars i believe when i bought from her it doesn't matter how little or how big it was always this a flat rate shipping i think she just had to go up on her shipping a couple of months ago or something or another i don't know but um i've heard a lot of people say that they don't get good throw from her but the sense that i even the late the lady who i bought the d stash from she was pregnant and that's why she d stash sense that she couldn't she was sensitive to you we all know we pregnant uh, it's just certain sense that our nose just cannot take. It makes us nauseous, sick. And so she de-stashed sense that she her nose could not take, was able to take before, but, you know, now that she, she was pregnant, was no longer able to take. And uh, the ones that she kept, she said that she melted because we had conversed back and forth via Facebook message. And I said you know, after I bought from her and I placed my own custom order because I was impressed and I loved the size of them in a sense, I decided to ask after placing my own custom order and uh, it wasn't good feedback on Rocket Melts. And I'm like, oh Lord, I just got a D stash and I just placed my own custom order for like five chunks and it cost me like $30 with shipping. This is not gonna be good. <laughs> And so I let them cure and from my D stash and from what I purchased, it was all good. But unfortunately from the, um, the lady who I bought the D stash from, she was like some of the scents that she had bought, you know, didn't throw very long and she was a little discouraged. And that's what I had got from people who had tried her wax. So I'm thinking maybe her bakery scents are kind of, mm, but again, I get mostly fruity, um, and I've had no problem with them. Great throw, long lasting throw, very strong, big chunks. You know, I'm not happy with the shipping price, but you know, it is what it is. If you really like something and you want it, go for it, right? Number eight is Rocket Melts. No? I just did Rocky Melts. Number nine is Glitterati. Glitterati is very, very good, but she is another one. Um, I didn't put her high up. Um, she should have probably been before Sniff My Tarts, like after Rose Girls or before Rose Girls, but Glitterati is harder than Rose Girls to get. I mean rarely will you find a D stash in Glitterati. Mostly people just want to trade um, because you can always find somebody who has what you're looking for and who wants to take what you're trying to trade in Glitterati. And uh, that's why she is number nine, but she's still in my top 10 is because the wax is very, very good. It does very well. It's not a wax that is like poof, boom punch you in the face but it's nice and it's steady and it gets the job done with no problem and for 24 plus hours but very very hard to get and again another one that has um a very long tack and very few openings yeah so and number 10 is Kimri Ann's. I want to get through this. Kimri Ann, um, very easy to get. Very a sweetheart. Wax is reasonable. A nice throw in my house. Um, yeah, Kimri Ann, just a good wax to get. So I'm going to have to go.
Peace.